Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Now, it has been a breezy June so far, okay? And I'm looking back three to four years. We've had some decent weather in the months of June and into July. But I got to tell you what, just like The Undertaker, man, winning all those WrestleManias and stuff, and somebody, they came in, they took it away from him, okay? Took it away from him. It's all done. The streak has ended, just like The Undertaker streak ended. <laughs> so, yes, I am a diehard wrestling fan. I have been since I was a kid. I absolutely love it. You can learn so much from wrestling. <laughs> so... If you guys have listened to my old podcast, you know that I'm like a huge um, wrestling fan. So, um, especially the time I threw the pencil at Andre the Giant and he got pissed off at me when I was a kid. <laughs> Anyhow, so I kind of got off topic here. So, my thing is, is that, yep, the streak has ended. So, you can either do two things. You can either, if you're a new boat owner... And you've been enjoying, you, you come down here for the summers and want to like, have like, oh my God, every June is going to be beautiful. We typically come down the past, the last two weeks of June because it's beautiful. Well, I have to tell you what, three years ago, we didn't, we had wind in all of June and like, there is no rhyme to reason behind it. It's just is what it is. So the El Nino has lifted. That might have a little bit of something to do with what we're seeing right now. So we are in like... A, a neutral weather pattern no el nino right now it's done officially is ended it ended like last week or the week before that so here's what i suggest you can either sell your boat quit whine about it or you can like step up your game quit bitching about it and start taking action and how do you do that you start learning about the weather okay you put down the youtube shit and like quit watching drone videos quit watching all these nice days and start getting better, okay? Start, and that includes learning about the weather. So if you're interested in learning more about the weather and how to, how I master it and what I use, you can use the link in the show notes and receive a free copy of Conquer the Weather Mastery Blueprint, okay? Uh, which is going to help you either like with the predictions of the weather or it's going to give you that little bit of extra nugget into figuring out a weather pattern. So I give you guys some tools that I use and I also share what paid site that I use to get several different modules. You have to have several different modules to study, weather modules, okay? Um, from AI to NOAA, like there's so many different things out there that are available to you that you need to study, okay? And learn about it. Learn about isobar pattern. Learn about all this different stuff. So how the storms are moving. And you can start with a free copy of Conquer the Weather Mastery Blueprint, okay? And also, too, you're going to get some insights on how to improve your catch in various conditions, okay? So go to the show notes, click on the link, and get signed up. And get your copy. Okay, so I'm super excited about Deep Drop 2.0. It's going to be really cool. I've got some new like stuff that I'm using to show guys, and I'm excited how I'm going to present this this one. So if you guys aren't signed up, I highly suggest you get signed up for it. It starts June 25th, okay? And because I release a new eight-week course intensive every month, the easiest way to stay in the loop is through my Instagram account, Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys, or get on my mailing list. And you can do that by signing up for the free Conquer the Weather Blueprint I just mentioned. All right, so let's talk about catching dolphin when, you know, it's rainy and overcast and not that Chamber of Commerce day that you guys see a lot of on television shows nowadays <laughs> and YouTube shows. <laughs> so I, um, I always do my best just to go out there and film when I can. And sometimes it's you get the most education out of those days because honestly, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. I mean, sometimes you just gotta like you just go, you pick your weather day, and we're you know, you just can't pick your days, you can't pick your tides, and you just gotta pick the, the best possible times to go around the weather and all that good shit and just go fishing. So when when fishing for dolphin on like rainy days over and when you have overcast skies. So this past Saturday, I woke up to a forecast that was 
you know, pretty shitty. But there was a weather window to go that I've been I've been watching that pattern all week. And I only wanted to fish for a few hours, but I wanted to fish in conditions that, you know, weren't that great. I wanted to show you guys what lures to use and stuff. So I made a I made some video content around this as well that I'll share at a later date. But what it comes down to, guys, is picking out colors that you have the most confidence in. I feel that's the most important, okay, in any condition, okay? So I have lures that I'm very confident in when it's dark and gloomy outside and a little bit of rainy. So my top lure colors that I like to go to are, I prefer a crystal, anything with crystal in it, okay? My favorite is a blue and crystal hair sea witch, okay? Why do I like crystal hair? Because it's got that hollow fiber in it, bends light. It's a fiber optic, fi it's a fiber optic hair, okay? It really catches the light. It really um, creates like a purple color. It just really gives off a really nice silhouette. It's always been one of my top producers, okay? A blue and white crystal, okay? But with the blue color, I like a dyed blue crystal hair, okay? And that whoo, is lethal, okay? A dyed blue crystal hair, okay? And there's ways to make that, and that's what I'm going to, and ways to turn crystal into blue. And you can do that in several different ways. You can, like, you know, you can use dye, and I'm going to show some, in the rigging crew, I'm going to show some, show how to do that to the guys that are members. But anyhow, uh, you guys can figure it out. You can use writ dye, but I'm going to show some of the guys in the group an easy way to do it. So um, that's going to be in the rigging crew 2.0. If you guys are interested in joining, you get signed up through my website. So it's in the, you know, sign up, learn a little bit. So that's my favorite. Okay. I just like crystal hair in all in like dark days. And everybody's like, well, that doesn't really work in dark. Days. It does. It bends light. It like, it's wicked. But it has to be like a fresh crystal. Um, the older crystal gets, I feel that it wears out and doesn't work as well. So, like I said, there's many sea witches out there, many lures that have crystal hair in it. And so that's my number one, okay? My number two is a chartreuse dyed crystal, okay? That's another one. Anything that's chartreuse and has its dyed it's dyed crystal is crazy, but regular chartreuse works all as well. I just like, I have the most confidence in a dyed chartreuse crystal hair. I just think it's badass, and there's a difference in that hair as well and how it moves in the water. It's just something about it. It's a little bit more pricey, but man, does that shit work. So that's another one. But regular chartreuse works you know, dark green. The mahi color obviously is like a, one of my favorites. But another one that I really like that I caught a lot of fish on is the pearl. Is a dyed flashaboo. Um, it's like a pearl color. It's very good. You know, you can run it. Um, you know, the, the line slider tackle has a pearl color that's really good with an orange head. Beautiful bait. Just a great overall color. I've always, I always like pearl. So that's one other one that I really like. Um, my, aside from the the blue, like the crystal blue over crystal white, I like a a black and then a dyed blue crystal color. It's amazing. It that shit just pops in the water. The silhouette is fantastic. That's a great early morning bait. And then what I like to do with that one, I add a little bit of red and a little bit of red mylar in it, a little bit of blue a, a, a mylar in it. I, I mix it up a little bit, but this one I tie myself. So my Sea Witch has a, it has pearl on the inside, a pearl mylar, and then it has red on the outside with the little, little bits of blue, tiny bits of blue in it. So it's just an awesome witch, and that one tore it up on Saturday. They were all over that shit, more so than they were on that the the blue and crystal. So <laughs> they loved it. But also too, I there were a lot of flyers around. Okay, I was spraying up flyers everywhere, which told me that hey man, there's lots of flyers. 
So I was using some Ballyhoo and I was not having, I was like getting lots of shorter bites because my Ballyhoo were a little big. So for the size of the Mali that were around and they just were coming up and just tailing it and, you know, short biting it. So what I did was I had some cigar minnows that were tucked away and I went ahead and just rigged those up and skipped those. And if you guys have never skipped a cigar minnow, you guys are missing out. So those things are wicked when you're trolling those things. And there's some tricks to trolling them with the where they're easy. And again, if you want to learn how to do it, you got to get in the rigging crew. Sorry. <laughs> so, but if you want to figure it out, you can figure it out on your own. It's not too hard. But if you want to learn how to do it, I'm going to put that in the crew as well as a video. But um, anyhow, so that's another one. Has, I And I do like the... Um, like I said, I do like a dark green. I think I call it the ugly stepchild. It's like a nasty looking greenish bait that I use sea witch hair, but it's a it's been a, a great producer for um that's what actually I've caught a few marlin on it down here and some really big bull dolphin on it. So that's another one. But um I didn't run that on on Saturday. So my top colors on Saturday were uh, were pearl. Just an all pearl color with an orange head, and then I had my my blue black. The black was just a straight straight up black sea witch hair, uh, and then the blue was a dyed blue crystal. Again, it's all about confidence for me and what I like. The dyed blue crystal is very has been a very good very good sea witch hair for me over the years, uh, and then the this regular crystal because it comes off purple. Now you can use purple and also and also too you can use like a fluorescent white and what fluorescency which hair is it has more of a blue to it a real good one or an all white hair you know the white natural works very well you know, like i said it's uh it's all about what stands out now a color that i don't like is an all pink okay and i want to be honest with you i started out with an all pink and they wouldn't even touch it and I've seen that in the past. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to throw it out, see what happens, and they won't touch it. So I'm seeing guys running out there, running daisy chains and weeds, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. So we that's a weed magnet in that shit. You don't really need that, to be honest with you, uh, when you're trolling those weed lines. You just got to have your, like, you got to be on your game because you those fish are going to eat it and are, they're going to eat something that looks like a flyer, okay, along that weed line. That's what they, That's what they're eating. So my best advice to you guys is when you guys get into a bunch of weed, you guys get those daisy chains pulled, and then you get some good skippers out there. You're either skipping a a, a good like like a good flying fish lure with a little bit of tail on it, you know, something with, with a little bit of shimmy. The the bait strip is another one that you guys can run. That thing like is perfect for a darker weather day. That it's it's always been a top producer for me. For, for dolphin. I didn't have any with me that day, but um, that one would have been on, but I forgot them at home because I wasn't planning on going uh, that morning, Saturday. I just went at the last minute, to be honest with you guys, and I'm glad I did because I, you know, it was excellent. It was really good. So, also, too, you don't want a bunch of hair on those lures. So, I, I prefer to have like really like just enough. To where I can skip them across weed, I can, you know, so they're not too weighed down, in other words. So, and then, you know, if you're targeting, ta um, if you're tar targeting medium sized dolphin, you're gonna, you want something they can just like suck down. That's why you want a small dink ballyhoo that you can, you know, get them to eat, or, you know, you have a run, or you're running good artificials. I really like a mix because honestly, I see them show preference to dead bait. And a lot of lure guys are like, yeah, you know, I've I've seen it. Um, so I run a mixture. And I saw them do that on Saturday. They, they showed a preference for artificials. And then they were really keying in on the ballyhoo because they, they were looking for more of a flying fish profile. And that silhouette. So you either figure out a way to match that silhouette to get it to then get them to skip right to where they like them and you just got to play with that in your spread so but i really prefer um to have a mix of dead and alive to see what they want dead and i'm sorry dead and artificial so yeah that's just me that's how i like to run things 
So, and then the ultimate is to get them on the boat and start catching them on squid, and, you know, especially when you're charter boat fishing that way. And you're got kids and all that other good stuff, and you just want to catch a catch a bunch of fish and then call her a day. So, and sometimes when you're doing that long enough, the big ones will show up also too. So that's another little trick. There'll be a, a big one in there, but he won't eat. And then finally, all of a sudden, you'll be catching all the schoolies, and then he'll show, and then you'll be ready for him. So those those fish will be hanging out in the back. Uh, squid is another one. Natural color, trolls very well. Uh, there are some secrets to getting a squid to hold up and making a durable squid. That's something also, too, I'm going to show the guys and the crew on how to do um, as well. So a uh, new way that I'm rigging squid and making it durable, and it's, it has nothing to do with brining. So those are my top colors, guys. Also, too, when you're looking to buy a dyed blue crystal hair sea witch, they're tough to find, okay? So I like to hand tie mine. So that's how I make mine. But a lot of good sea witch guys, they don't reveal what type of hair they're using, okay? They don't want you to know it's UV. They don't want you to know that stuff because in this day and age, you can really, like, start making your own stuff. So good lure guys don't reveal their true secrets. Just know that. They're not going to be on. They're, like, the good ones, there's a reason why some work and some don't. So knockoffs and stuff, you can try to copy them and all that stuff. But really, <laughs> there's a reason why one always works versus the other. <laughs> so always keep that in mind. Uh, there's little tweaks that they do that that work. Okay. So the way they tie it, the way they make things, you know, it's just how it works. So don't like... If you guys are new to the fishing world and new to lure manufacturing, lure guys are going to tell you whatever they want to make you buy a lure, okay? Also, too, like, and I used to, like, you got to remember, guys, Melinda and I own Jimmy Jigs. We were the first ones to bring in high-quality jigs to the market, and people looked at us like we were crazy long before the other guys, okay? We were the, one of the very first ones to use influencer marketing to sell jigs. Okay, so there's a lot of tricks with tackle and a lot of tricks why some stuff works and some stuff don't work. And that's something I'll talk about in a future podcast for you guys. But I've shared enough today. So get yourselves ready for some dark day fishing. Okay, get the, you know, find some lures at work and get out there and go to it. Sea witches, like I just said, work, you know, they give you a nice profile, good silhouette. Keep it really simple. Don't go out there with a bunch of shit, okay? A bunch of like it's all good to add a chain in there and stuff, but man, don't run a bit. Don't run like a cluttered fucking like shitty spread with like junk, okay? Go out there, get yourself a clean spread of natural baits. There are some really, there's some really good stuff out there right now, okay? So be cautious of what you're buying. Learn how to make your own, and if you want to take it to the next level and learn, you know, what I'm doing as far as the exact witches that I'm using and how I'm tying them and the stuff that I'm using that, you know, I've talked about in some of my courses that I'm not, like, mentioning in public, uh, you can, you know, get involved with some of the courses and you can learn. And then also, too, you can learn how to tie some sea witches, how I do it the easy way, and yeah, so you can get involved with the rigging crew. Guys, that's all I got. Looking forward to seeing most of you guys in Deep Drop 2.0. You're gonna like how I what I got. And also, too, if you're if you're looking to book a charter, I have availability in July, and you're gonna like what I got in store for you guys. Cause especially you bottom fishermen that are that want to do some serious bottom fishing, I've got something cool, next level, and I'm excited to share it with you. And I'll be talking more about that in the future. But get your charters booked now so we can um, get out there and um, enjoy the, um, July because there's going to be some really good fishing. Also, too, if you want to go dolphin fishing, I'm back to doing that this year. Uh, it's going to be a good July of dolphin fishing, okay? The patterns of changing, the currents are changing. I'm seeing some really good stuff on the sat fish. And some really good things are happening, I feel, in the dolphin, um, the dolphin world. And we're seeing some changes. I'm seeing different migration movements of 
of sargasm weed now versus what I've seen the past couple of years. So I do feel it's going to like, we're going to have a very good July and a very good August of dolphin fishing. So that's all I got. You can learn about how to catch your, you know, find your own dolphin and you can get signed up for Satfish. Uh, you can just enter, go to Satfish Offshore, enter Good Karma for 20, get your $20 off, get dialed in out there, find the weed lines, super easy, find your temperature break, dial it in, go catch them. If you want to tie your own sea witches, uh, Tackle Room, great source of all the materials. Um, I, I buy my UV sea witch hair from them. I'll have some links in the show notes for you guys. And I've got a lot, I've got blogs available where you can go through and get the links to the the materials that I use for tying UV witches, uh, UV hair, as I, that was one thing I forgot to mention. That UV hair on dark days works amazing. I do have some nice UV witches that I tie. Uh, I have some some black UV, some blue UV. So I just like to have a good mix of it. But that's you know you can get that stuff at thetackleroom.com as well. And follow me on Instagram. Keep up with what's what I have going on out there. And my Instagram account is good karma sport fishing underscore FL underscore keys. Get caught up on the previous podcast on my YouTube. I've got a ton of podcasts on there you can go back through. And it's a library of good shit that you can listen to. And plus you can listen to my old rants on there. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, I look back at some of those podcasts. I just laugh. So um, anyhow. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.